Welcome back, YouTube. And today we are here once again to talk about credit, once again to talk about finance, and once again to remind you to please don't sleep on the money. Wake up. It's time to take the world by its horns and change your financial world. So, as always, my name is Nigel Schroeder, and I want to thank you guys for tuning into my channel. All right, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos out with others. But let's get right into today's topic, the U.S. Bank Secured Visa Card. Now, the U.S. Bank Secured Visa Card is a no annual fee secured credit card offered by U.S. Bank that allows you to set a security deposit between $305,000 and $5,000 as your security deposit and as your credit limit for your card. Now, what that does is it allows you to begin building your credit with this card. You can set your limit because you created the security deposit and your deposit is refundable with this card. So you can always look forward to being able to get your deposit back and your deposit, of course, is going to be your limit. They use your deposit as your limit basically to ensure that if you don't pay the card, that they will be able to use your fund still to pay the card back. Now, this card, of course, you can be used for your everyday purchases. It is a Visa card, so anywhere that Visa is accepted, this card will be accepted. Of course, this card is going to help you build your credit. It's going to report a revolving trade line to your credit report every single month and let them let your the creditors see that you are able to manage and properly maintain a credit account now what will this do this will increase your credit score and u.s bank knows this and is helpful in allowing you access to your credit score through their mobile app or your online banking u.s bank also offers you 24-7 access to that mobile app and or online banking if you want to use them at all ever to monitor or manage your account. Now, the next thing that U.S. Bank does is they allow you to choose your payment date. Now, this may seem like it's not very important. However, by them allowing you to choose your payment dates, you can set your payment date on your card to a date that's more flexible and convenient to you. So if you're working a job where you only get paid on certain days, you can always remember to set that payment date to a date that will be close to your payday and allow you that flexibility and ability to pay. Um, and it just adds that little bit of extra value to show that they care about those customers who are working and need to pay on certain times of the month when it's more convenient now the next thing zero fraud liability now most credit cards today offer this however if the your card is forever for whatever reason ever lost or stolen um you are not responsible for anything that someone else may do or spend off of your credit card um the next thing of course is you have fraud protection so if the bank notifies that there's anything unusual going on with your card. So say someone steals your card and they're using it to make purchases you don't normally make or go out of town or buy stuff you don't normally buy, the bank will notify you of this. Now, this card also has a, a mobile wallet. So you can use it, um, you know, with Google Wallet or um, with Apple with your um, Apple Pay, and it will allow you to be able to tap with your phone and use the card. Um, this card also features auto pay so that you don't have to worry about making late payments. It can automatically deduct the minimum payment from your bank account every single month on a set date, as well as this card features contactless payments. So you can actually use the card to, similar to how you would use Apple Pay or um, your Google Wallet and tap the card 
at the register and use it to um, make those payments. So all in all, I still think this card is a pretty strong card. Um, there are some better cards on the market um, and we're going to be talking about some of the other U.S. bank secured options. Um, but if you just need a basic starter card and you want to build a relationship with U.S. Bank, I would recommend getting this card still. As always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Please make sure you share these videos out with others.